All right, we're going to talk about this problem is definitely going to be on your test. So um, you have a rope. It's cut up into two pieces. I want you to stop right there. When you read word problems, you have to think it's cut up into two pieces. Okay, so there's going to be two pieces. That's really important. Secondly, one piece is three times longer than the other piece. All right? Draw the rope and solve for how long the bigger piece is if the rope was originally 32 feet long. So first, draw the original rope. How long is it? 32 feet long. And then, draw the new rope. One piece is three times longer than the other piece. What that means is that this piece will take up basically three parts and then the second piece, which is the smaller piece, will only take up one part. So here's the one part and here's the three parts. So you basically could split the, the one piece up into three parts. One, two, three. So see how it's split up into here's one, two, three, right? And then the fourth piece is right here. So that's showing you, you have to see this visually before you can ever do it on paper, that <clears throat> this, there was this rope that was 32 feet long here. And then there was three pieces of rope. There was two pieces of rope. The orange represents one piece, and the purple represents the other piece. The, and the reason that the orange piece is longer is because it says up here that one piece is three times longer than the other piece. So we basically have four pieces. So we have to divide the 32 into four pieces. 32 divided by four is eight feet, right? So that means that each of these is eight feet long, okay? So the the little piece the the little piece of rope the is just eight is just eight feet long. The other piece of rope that is three times longer, you have to figure it out by adding all all three parts up, basically eight plus eight plus eight. And that equals eight times eight times eight plus eight plus eight or eight times three is twenty-four. And that is your final answer. If you want to solve it using algebra, there's another way to do it. Let me um let me clear the recording. I mean let me let me clear the annotations. The way you solve it using algebra is you say one piece is three times longer than the other piece. So they're both, these X's represent the pieces, okay? So that's piece one, that's piece two, but we put a three in front of this one because, a three in front of this one because it's three times longer than this one. And it's all gonna equal 32. And when you combine like terms, three, you have to imagine there's an imaginary one. Whenever you have nothing in front of the X, it's an imaginary one, you have four X equals 32 and you divide by 4, divide by 4, and again x equals 8. So that is how long um, x is, but we have to plug it back in up here. So we have to plug this back in up here, and I'll do that over here, and you're going to have 3 times 8 equals 24, and that is your final answer. That is how you know. How, so you can do it either way. You can draw it out, like I told you to do originally, or you can solve it using algebra. But either way, you have to be able to read the problem and know that, one, that when you split it up, you have to split it up into four equal parts.